how can I join servers with a lot of real players? The main server that has a lot of players is Simulation 1. When viewing the server list, it's the first one. The busy area is along the Calais to Duisburg road and the surrounding cities. When driving there, do be aware of trolls and generally dodgy behavior. You might be hit once or twice. That's not a threat, just a precaution. Here it is, the creation that makes people jealous of. I have no idea. He has bits of every single truck on that. Should we go through it? Volvo, Scania, Scania engine, DAF, Mercedes, man bits on the side. He just disappeared, hold on. And then trailer bits. That's good to look. When you've been playing a little bit too much, this, that is pretty cool. You can go around seeing the world like this if you wish. Not sure how much you'll get paid for parking that, but as long as you don't skip the parking. How do Y talk on Truckers MP? Funnily enough, your little spelling oopsie gave you the answer. To use the text chat in Truckers MP, press the Y button. To use the CB radio, press the X button. Ensure your microphone is set up for that though. If, for whatever reason, your chat doesn't open, press F9, then try again. F9 is the button to disable it entirely, similar to how F11 turns off the HUD elements. What's happening? This is the Free Roam server. It's part of the yearly anniversary celebrations of TMP. We've got the monster truck. The monster truck was there for April Fools as a meme vehicle and everyone loved it. Oh, there's one. Yes, looks so good. Oh, with black. Actually, no, he's got no rooms because he's edited them. That looks sick in black though. That, you get quite a bit of air on that. Bouncy wheels as well. Very nice. Good landing. So the thing is, this ramp last year was ruined quite a bit by people parking in front of it. And then... <laughs> their their run-up is ruined. Get knocked, boy. That looks like it would have been a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice, nice, nice. Squish. Nice. When they bounce and they hit these signs here. I wanted to see the Renault, which landed, and that one went straight over it. Nice. Construction simulator. That was a weird animation. Extend it. Extend it. Turn that around. Lift. Lift carefully, yes. We have to do now, pack it all away, I guess. We have to pick up these two things here. Oh, I now need forklift. Damn. Forklift time. Keep pressing F. You know, in a, it, it's, it, can I just, it, it, thank you. There's a person. There's a person. There was a person. You don't even know how to open the window. It's just open all the time. I suppose that does make it easier and breezier having it open all the time. You can find the settings for it in the keys and buttons menu under the first section. You'll see an open and close option for each side. If you don't have four spare buttons, only assign keys to the window that's on your driving side. Oh my God, whole army of trains ready to go out there. God, how many is that? God damn. 20? Do we need to do some quick maths? Five, 10. Ah, oh, there's another one, see? Now it's 20, 15, 20, because those two fill in the gap. Problem solved. Can I ask how you go into flying mode like that? Good question. And this will require the in-game console to already be set up. So if you don't have that, go check my video. Once that is working, all you need to do to access this mode is press the number zero at the top of your keyboard, not the numpad zero. To control the camera, you use the numpad eight, four, five, and six. To change the speed of it, you scroll up and down with your mouse. And to angle it, just move your mouse. Oh, and to move up and down vertically, you use numpad nine and three. Hope that helped, enjoy. The new thing with the lights, the lights are still up, they're just not on at the moment. I have another one just on the floor instead. It's the Philips Hue Go, the bowl-shaped thing. I think that looks pretty nice. I wanted minimal, minimal little lights. Very nice. You can control it with your phone, it's pretty good. 